Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day unless you're in Ukraine and then you're kind of worried about some stuff. I can imagine. <sighs> what to say, right? I'm trying to keep this positive. I'm trying to do my high vibration. <sighs> and then what hap What does Putin do after 22222 with his high energy? It invades the country. Okay. Before everybody gets crazy and we start World War III, want most people to understand that this is a part of Russia. In his mind, a lot of people in Ukraine are from Russia. They're Russian. They identify as, you know, such, but they're Ukrainians. Like I said, it was a part of the Soviet Union at some point before it all collapsed. And they're very proud of being part of the Soviet Union. A lot of them still are. <clears throat> the ones that aren't part of the Soviet Union are, are the corrupt European unions. Like Merkel and Macron and all them assholes. And that, that dork over in UK is trying to look like Trump with his hairdo. God, Boris, dumbass, whatever the fuck his name is. I mean, they're all globalists. They're all scum. They're all super rich. And they all could give a shit about anybody but themselves and their, their bank accounts. They want power. They want control. Period. Putin is exercising... He's flexing his muscles. He's blowing some stuff up. He's taking over airports. He's not going into Kiev and, and just, just destroying the city and burning it down. That's not happening. That's part of Russia in his mind. And here's the fun part. He's a part of the globalist. It's it's almost like it's a, it's like a joke. They go, okay, your turn to be the bad guy. It's like, oh, and China's popping up about Taiwan now, saying that Taiwan has always been a part of China. This is all happening because we have a weak ass motherfucker in charge, pardon my French, who who is just he's a corrupt piece of shit and he's a part of it. So it's like there it's it's playbook shit. It's like, okay, your turn to be the bad guy. I'll raise up a stink, I'll make a big old hoo foo foo. You know what? We were doing great two, three years ago before this pandemic. We were doing great. Gas prices were just dropping. You could you could you couldn't, I mean, there were so many jobs, it was ridiculous. And you didn't have to wear a face diaper. Here, you still have to wear face diapers to wear, just to get a job. I don't do that. I don't wear face diapers. I don't, I don't muzzle myself for some globalist piece of shit who's trying to tell me what to do. And in China, they're not even worried about it. They're not passing out vaccinations. They're not, they're not forcing people to wear a mask unless they live in the Beijing where it's all smoggy from the mines and whatever the, that coal they burn. So basically... It's a joke, and you know I feel sorry for the you know the the poor people, us, everyday person just going to work and wanting to do their job. Somebody's going to work this morning, but now they got to run for their lives because these guys want to play fucking games with each other, and nobody wants to sit down and be the fucking adult in the room. I know it perturbs me, man, because I know people are suffering and people are scared, and this is just going to escalate the BS. This does not bring balance to our universe. You understand this? This just feeds the dark side. Feeds the darkness, it feeds the fear, it feeds the misery. And these are things that I'm fighting against. I'm fighting to keep this balance of joy and happiness in the world. You know what I did? I just got done playing with my granddaughter. And I can't tell you how amazing it was. In the midst of that, there's all this, you know, rampages going on in Ukraine. And I want to point out another thing <clears throat> to remind people of. Remember Crimea? This was under Barry Obama. Or Soweto, whatever the fuck he calls himself. Um, you know Obama, that dude. Yeah, yeah. When he was president, what did Putin do? He inv he took over Crimea. And we didn't go to war over that, did we? Exactly. Here's the interesting part. I was watching, like I said, I used to be a, studying to be a journalist. I watched as soldiers marched into Crimea from Russia. With no identification. The tanks had no identification. There was no marks on anything or anybody to tell who they were or where they were from. You see what I'm saying? That's how smart. The, he, the guy was the head of the KGB. He's not an idiot. But he's also he was also, you know, he was groomed by the globalists. So he was put there. Trust me, Putin would not be there as long as he's been there if they don't want him there. Period. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know it gets complicated, doesn't it? But the point is, is these people are all in it together. It's all shock and all. It's all distractions. 
because people were just around the world globally wanting to be free. They were tired of this vaccine bullshit. They were tired about the mandates. They were tired about the masks. They wanted to be free. And they're marching all over the world. And it's spontaneous. That Canadian trucker thing lit it up. So they have to try to get distract from that. They got a convoy in the U.S. going to D.C. right now. From all over the country. They're all just head. They're all just pinpointing D.C. And now they want to just get this war in, in Ukraine thing going. So where everybody's distracted from the fact that people were being enslaved. And being you know tortured and hurt by the governments that were supposed to be the freest in the world. Australia, horrible. New Zealand, horrible. Canada, horrible. The way they were treating their people. It was like, even China was, had to have been laughing. They weren't even that authoritarian with their people. Shit, New Year, last New Year's, if you look at the video of last New Year's Eve in China, in Wuhan, everybody was out partying. Nobody had masks on. And you look at Times Squares, in our, and this was, what, 2000 or 2001? And basically, ours empty. There was, no, there was nobody at Times Squares. So they shut down our way of life, and yet they were just celebrating and have a great time. It's just really sad that nobody's really picking up on this shit because the, you know, I mean, you can't trust the media for shit. I mean, come on now. If anybody that still watches that crap, you, you've been fed, you were just like lockstep, you know, imperialist. You're in with the globalists. You're, you might as well accept that. Because if you think that these assholes are telling you the truth, then, then God bless you. you. You know, you're going to, that's a terrible way to wake up one day and realize you've been on the wrong side it's like being behind darth vader and you know being the stormtrooper and then realize oh, i'm the bad guy this sucks wait i don't want to keep running with these assholes and shooting people and it's like yeah maybe i'll wake up huh i don't know i got star wars in there huh it's okay we're gonna we're gonna run high i don't give a shit we're gonna run high people don't be distracted by the bullshit high super high gas prices you know, shortages, all this stuff is really bad. And these assholes that are supposed to make sure this doesn't happen are just letting it go and saying, oh, we got a war to deal with, sorry. Hey, it's Ukraine. And not a single American should be even nowhere near that fucking place, period, in the story. That's not our fight. If the United Nations wants to get in there, if 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 Germany wants to step in and, and you know, send her sons and daughters off to die for their for their, you know, machine then they fuck them but don't send americans there don't send anybody because that's not our fight like i said he's flexing his muscle to get back what was already theirs and ukraine don't give a fuck half most of ukraine is fine with it they just want to be left in peace and i guarantee you kiev's gonna be fine they're not gonna blow up kiev that's not even gonna happen i told you that's part of russia as far as he's concerned and everybody knows that they're a bunch of cowards at the U european union so whoever, everybody that's not pro-Russia is going to flee the country like they're doing in their cars. Everybody that's pro-Russia is going to stay there and have really nice, cush jobs once, you know, Putin moves in. I'm telling you, it's, it's inevitable. They got Crimea without a shot. They, they shot a, in the air. Of, of, you know, there were some soldiers that were resisting, but they were unarmed. So they ended up shooting around them and scaring the shit out of them. So, yeah, yeah. Literally took over country without a shot. This one is getting a little more dramatic. But I'm telling you, it's all ploys. It's all it's all deception. It's all he's part of the fucking shit too. Putin is part of the group. He's not, he's in it. If he's got to play a bad guy this month, that's fine. But he's in it. He goes. He sits at the fucking table with these assholes. So don't be fooled by these. You know, don't be fooled by the media. They just want to drum up war because they suck. They want people. It's it's like it's like Satan's in charge. They want to drum up evil. They want to drum up hate. They want to drum up fear. This is what the the dark side feeds on, man, and they're feeding that fucking machine hard. So we gotta focus on the opposite. We gotta live in love and light. Live in the moment. Trust your instincts. Trust your intelligence. Believe what you believe. Don't believe what somebody tells you. It's just, you know, do the research. Find out for yourself. Maybe, I don't know, do some history research about the area too. It'd be interesting to find out some stuff, right? I'm sure that pipeline going from Germany to Russia is still flowing. Anybody want to check in on that? Interesting, isn't it? Germany gets all its oil from Russia. You think they're going to stop Russia from invading Ukraine? Exactly. Now my point is made. We're in it together. It's just a big show. Let's focus on freedom. Let's focus on my freedom, your freedom, personal freedom, and united freedom for the world, for all of us. We all deserve, to, we're all miracles. We all deserve to be free and to 
to do what we want as long as we're not hurting anybody and it's all consensual and we're all adults that's just whatever you know what i mean libertarian baby you know whatever independent libertarian just free i like free let's just work on being free you know though telling people where to go what to pump into their veins what to eat how to feel what to believe or you get slaughtered you know bullshit let people be the way they are and have fun and be happy and smile and go to the park and fly kites and play with their kids and just work for a living and have some fun. And yeah, that sounds a lot better than the bullshit they're giving us. So let's work on being happy. I'm going to work on having a wonderful day. I always, I just, these things are important. I hate bringing some stuff up this heavy, you know me, but at the same time, it's important. We got to, we got to deal with this. We got to get together and. You know, people are waking up. You got citizen activists all over the place. And as far as the Canadian truckers, when they went in there and just, just tore them up and beat them up, and there were people filming everything. After that, they, they arrest everybody with the phone in their hand. Are you filming? Yeah, this is Canada. They're arresting people just for filming the streets, walking down the street. Are you filming? You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, it's crazy. I was watching all kinds of... But this is your citizen activists that are tired of the bullshit. There were people that were actually... There's a there's an interview of a guy that was like pro-Canada, like, yeah, I'm, you know, punish the, the non-vax. Or he was buying into it, and then he realized that... Then he had to just to flip the switch and realized he was wrong. He was like, these are just human beings, and they're being hurt, and blah, 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 demonized. And he was like, when Trudeau called them racist, that's when he knew he was wrong. He goes, fuck, they just used me... And now they're just, yeah. He goes, when he, he went down to the, where they're at, the you know, Ottawa, and he was like hugging people and apologizing and saying, I was I was one of the haters. So, yeah, people are, hearts are turning, baby. That's what I, those are the interviews I love, man. People like, I was buying into the bullshit. And then I woke up and said, this, you're demonizing human beings and making it okay to hurt them. I tell people, in the South, Democrats, when they were slave owners, used to demonize the African Americans, and they used to put out posters and, and pamphlets explaining how African Americans were subhuman, so it was okay to torture and kill them and enslave them. And now, they're teaching that it's white people are subhuman, so it's okay to hurt them and do them and rape them and kill them. See what I'm saying? This is just a really fucked up weird cycle. But don't buy into the bullshit. It's an individual responsibility for yourself. Color has got nothing to fucking do with it, baby. If you can't take responsibility for your own actions, then you're fucked. And don't be blaming a group of individuals that have a different pigment than you. Because that's just, that's just ignorant bullshit. And you might as well just join the KKK fucking newsletter. You know what I mean? Because for, for all the good you're doing in the world. And with that, we're going to work on being good and happy. And we're going to keep it light. I'm going to go hang out with my grandkids some more before I hang out and before I kick rocks and... Go on my adventure. I don't know what I'm doing. It's getting crazy. I might just go to D.C. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just, it's getting crazy, people. I'm trying to just work on myself and heal. But at the same time, man, if I got to be around people and speak up, and I can go in and out. Just go in there and do some speeches and then go back to the hills and sit in the woods and burn some, you know, have some fire pits and just chill. And But people need a voice. People need to be heard. And I got a voice, and I'm going to use it. I've been doing my videos, although I'm being shadow banned. I, I've seen videos that are ridiculous. They got like 20,000 views. And I'm like, how can I not get any views at all? Unless they're purposely blocking me. It's just, and then they send me the biggest assholes. I mean, there's some really cool people that show up too. But at the same time, like I get, I get, I get hit a lot. Like instantly attacked. I don't know if they're bots or they're, you know, it's like son of a bitch, man. But I'm Taurus. I ain't giving up, please. I'm the emperor of the universe. My job is to heal and to love and to bring light to the world. And I will shine, baby. And the darkness will fall. So have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is still digging you. Don't worry. Take deep breaths. It's going to be okay. And yeah. Talk to you later, babe.